Temperatures are on the rise and summer is almost here. And before we know it, we'll be feasting on hot dogs, hamburgers, and all things barbecue in between. But before we fire up the grill, let's load you up with a helpful recipes, tips, and safety precautions. Brothers and top chefs, Brian and Michael Bataggio are joining us to share their secrets to a safe and savory summer. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So I want the dish. I need the top grilling secrets first. Sure. Um, so Michael and I love grilling with propane because we love the versatility. We love the fact that it's really clean to use. And you can create all kinds of different temperature zones on the grill, which makes it a lot easier to bring a really great, delicious meal to the table. Um, and we have all kinds of recipes, tips, and techniques that you can follow at propane.com forward slash families. All right. So, Brian, um, how about some of your favorite recipes to cook on the grill? Yeah, so I mean, one of my favorite recipes to cook on the grill is this barbecue short rib. Um, we take the short ribs, actually put a lot of aromatics in a little bag of parchment paper, wrap it with foil, a couple of ice cubes to help them braise, mm -hmm. braise them for about an hour and a half, and then take those short ribs out and glaze them with a Korean style barbecue glaze um, on the table, some rice, some kimchi, other little banchans, and to just make that just be one of those things where you put it on the center of the table and everybody kind of dives in. Oh, you I know, like it. It's, um, we're, we're all ready to get together around the table with friends and family this year and grill, and this is going to be one of my favorite recipes this year. For sure. Now, Michael, what do you have there for your spread? Well, I'm about cooking fish today and baking on the same piece of equipment. So I've got a cedar plank roasted salmon that I put a barbecued rub on. Uh, I'm putting that out on the table with a bunch of condiments, some tortillas. So yes, you can rip into that and make fish tacos. Grilled avocado on the side can be the center of the plate as well. Um, and then this baked cast iron s'mores cookie that I actually baked on the propane grill as well. So you can, you can grill, you can saute, you can bake. You can make your sauce. You can do everything right on the propane grill. And, and as you guys mentioned, you're cooking on the propane grills. So as people fire up their grills, they also need to think about safety. Um, what safety tips can you offer, Brian? Yeah, I mean, definitely safety comes to mind when you're, when you're grilling outside. So, um, you know, really, really important to follow the manufacturer's instructions on any grill or piece of equipment that you're using. We also make, make sure we recommend that you keep your grill um, at least five feet away from any structure, your house, anywhere on your property, just keep it away five feet. And then never leave the grill. Always be there by its side to make sure that everything is going well. And also so you don't burn anything. You know, it's, it's also important because you don't want to ruin your meal, right? So just stay by the grill. And Michael, you mentioned like you're, you're cooking up a few things at the same time on the grill. How do we add that extra grilling flavor to some of those recipes you mentioned? I mean, one thing that I like to do is whatever sort of acid that I'm cooking with, whether it be vinegar, lemon juice, Brian's got some charred lemons on his station there, but a little spritz bottle of vinegar, if you keep that next to the grill, if your burger comes off, your barbecued chicken, your roasted steak, whatever it is, squirt it with like red wine vinegar onto a steak, apple cider vinegar onto a piece of chicken. Um, you could put champagne vinegar, squirt that onto some veggies. Oh, wow. I yeah. just love adding acid to anything that comes off the grill. Oh yeah, and then uh, what about shopping tips, Michael? Do you have any of those when someone's looking for the perfect propane grill for their grilling? For me, when you're buying a propane grill, it's about the accessories that you can get with it. I have to have a side burner so that you can make a side dish, a sauce, something that will go with the main component that you're grilling on the grill. Uh, you could find a rotisserie. So really just finding a piece of equipment that has versatility and the ability to add more toys or accessories. Very good. And you know, you guys are brothers. You both love to cook and grill. What's next for you guys? I mean, are you going to have like cook-offs this summer as you're able to get together? We are going to have a cook-off this summer. So uh, we have a new show that's going to be coming out on Discovery Plus. It's called Battle of the Brothers. And I think that, you know, we, we definitely agree that the title says it all. Um, it's going to be a new exciting show that's going to be a competition show where we're bringing uh, some of America's, you know, next generation of young chefs that we're going to mentor along the way. Ultimately, one of these chefs is going to take over the keys to one of our restaurants for her own pop-up completely supported by us. Oh, that is Team Michael cool. versus Team Brian. Battle of the Brothers. <laughs> and, and Michael, um, I'm going to ask you, I mean, if you tallied up all the battles you've had in life, who, who's ahead? You or Brian? 
Uh, we're not keeping that tally any longer. <laughs> <laughs> we're business partners too. So we got, there's no more, only split thing in the, is the split screen that we're on right now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You guys are a lot of fun. Thanks for all the tips. And for more information on propane uh, grills, you can go to propane.com slash families. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.